Started the recording. So looking at the golden moments, blind box. So we're actually getting five. Never had five before. It's always been in pairs, uh, right? So it was always Donald, Daisy, and then Lady and the Tramp. And then it was like Wally and Pizza Planet Truck and, you know, back and forth. So we've never had it where it's like more than two. So it's actually kind of crazy. We're actually getting five uh, in the same drop. They confirmed uh, in the AMAs that MTL is the first... Uh, and then Omid to NFT, Omid to NFT. So I agree about your year-end prediction. That's that's hope. 500 max uh, for this one. We'll see. I, I think so too. Honestly, I don't think... I don't think any of these are hitting above 600. Maybe Pooh will hit like 700 or something like that. But even then, if anything, if any of these go over a grand, I'm selling it immediately and grabbing other golden moments, to be quite honest. I, I'd rather just grab other stuff. <clears throat> So Timon and Pumbaa, 13,333 editions. So this is more than what we've gotten. So the original series of Golden Moments, I believe the highest we got was 12,300, you know, the threes. Uh, but Donald and Daisy has 13,000. So already, I think they kind of assumed like, hey, we're going to have more people on the app by then. Because honestly, if they're really trying to keep up with the amount of people that are on the app, like these numbers would be higher, which is another reason why some people are thinking these NFTs are all planned ahead of time so like this is no this has nothing to do with vivi this is all disney like hey these this first series of golden moments said well we want to plan these ones out for the next four to five months and this is you know and they're gonna do it right so <clears throat> if vivi did have a say or if they could kind of plan stuff out i think they probably would have done more drops in february because february was like really really slow uh for the most part so uh, this one, Timon and Pumbaa, 13,333 editions. And it's going to vary wildly, right? People are going to first list it for a grand. Then it's going to go to 800. It could go down as low as like 350. Then it's going to like bounce back up, uh, you know, at a certain point. But I, th I do think Timon and Pumbaa will probably be around 500. Maybe 550. We'll see. Uh, Poo, exact same rarity. That's common. This is common as well. So 13,000. Uh, if I had to put a price on it, I guess four or five duos on your stream yesterday. Yeah, we all did. We all remember we pulled up those, um, all the golden moments or like the, the park statues. We guessed Winnie the Pooh. I guessed that. I mean, I just mentioned it like this one. Uh, we talked about Sebastian. I don't think we really talked about it. We, we pointed it out, but I didn't say like, oh, I think this is going to be it. Uh, Chip and Dale was one for sure. And the other one was like Gus and something else. I'm like, I don't know who the hell those things are, like what those things are. Like, I've never seen what those are. <clears throat> So back to Pooh. And Pooh's been around for a long time. And I think some people have actually convinced me that it's going to do better than Timon and Pumbaa. Is it a grail? I would say no. Is it the best thing in the set? Yes, in my in my personal opinion. But not by much. I do think this could probably push between uh, 650-ish. So it's going to go anywhere between like six to 700. I'll give it like a 100 gem range. Uh, that's where it's roughly going to settle. But again... It's hard to say. Like the prices are gonna vary wildly, and then it's gonna be at six hundred, and then two, three days later, or two days later, we're gonna get an announcement, and then it's gonna dip down to like five fifty, five hundred because of some other big IP. Or David and Dan said, "Hey, we're getting MTL like by the end of the week or something crazy like that." Like you never know, you, you just never know. <clears throat> Which is the best and worst part about VV is you just don't know. Uh, Iron Man Gold Moment still special. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Let's get some emotes here. I'm not sure if uh, we have any members. I thought there was a couple members in here, but you guys are interested. These are some of the emotes that we got for members. I still love this emote. The one with Iron Man pointing. It's such a meme. It's my favorite one. Uh, that is the uncommon cover variant for the Kang, Kang uh, comic, which I did buy. These guys, uh, Cogsworth and Lum Lumiere. Lumiere, I think. <clears throat> I remember these guys. Actually, I did like Beauty and the Be Beast quite a bit. I always thought these guys were kind of funny. I did like the candle guy a bit more, so Lumiere. I still don't know. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, this one is the Uncommon 10,333. Um, I, I, I honestly think this one will probably go for like 450, I would say. Probably 450. Maybe five. We'll see, so... I, I do think like Timon and Pooh will probably be like 550. Winnie the Pooh will be 650. This will probably be 450 to maybe 500. So Timon and Pooh will do better than this. Um, Flounder and Sebastian. I actually heard Sebastian's like pretty popular uh, for the most part. This also looks kind of weird, right? With like the water and all that stuff. So this is the rare with 8,333 editions. 
Uh, this one could, I would say, go for also 500 as well. Like, I actually did like Little Mermaid a lot, uh, also growing up. I, I watched it quite a bit. I do think, um, oh my gosh, Little Mermaid. Uh, Ariel, that was her name. I was thinking about the name. Uh, she did give me some, <clears throat> let's say, unrealistic expectations of how redheads are in the real world, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but Flounder and Sebastian, I did like Sebastian a lot. Flounder was was all right. I think this, it's, it's hard to say. Like, I, I do think the rest of these are going to be, like, 400 to 500 for the most part. Like, I think it's just easy enough to say that Winnie the Pooh is probably going to be, like, 650, maybe 700, could, could be 750, who knows? And then um, Timon and Pooper will probably be like 550. And the only reason I'm going so low is just because we're in a gem squeeze like really hard right now. I think I really, really overvalued the Pixar drops. And so I'm kind of seeing something similar here. So I might be, because I overestimated Pixar, I could be underestimating these golden moments. But again, I think everyone's forgetting we're in a gem squeeze right now. Everyone's trying to find any reason to sell and make any kind of profit they can right now. Um, so yeah, these probably 400 to 500. And then these, Chippendale. The ultra rare, which is interesting, right? We actually haven't had an ultra rare. We haven't had a ultra rare since, yeah, the original series drops. I think same thing with the rare, because the the Valentine's Day golden moments was just common and uncommon, and that was it. But these ones are no, I think it was common and rare. I believe either rare or uncommon i forgot which one regardless we haven't had ultra rares in a minute i really don't think the rarity matters too much i mean we're seeing that with with edna we're seeing that with some other ultra rares too i think people too focus too much on the rarity all they care about is popularity and mint number that's all that matters i couldn't care less if it's a common uncommon rare secret rare doesn't matter doesn't make a difference in um master collector points sure but i do hear people say a lot like well this is a secret rare why is it so cheap it's like it doesn't matter like all i care is the mint numbers right um, same thing with the poster. People were looking at like the the, Gern the Guernica poster. Like it's a secret rare. Why is it below 200 gems? I'm like, it's, you know, it's a poster. I did invest in those. I did stack them because of the meaning and stuff. But I think people look too much at the rarity. Rarity is, you can only compare rarity compared to the other things that are within that same set, right? Like if there was just a standalone golden moments that was a secret rare, it's like, okay, cool. I, it, it would be the first golden moment secret rare. But if it's not a popular character, it doesn't matter. Um, so 6,333 editions with this one, I would say, oof, 550, 600. So I, I do think it could be the same price as these. So maybe I do need to move the prices up a bit. So Timon and Pumbaa, <clears throat> let's say 600 to 700. Winnie the Pooh is probably seven to eight. And the rest of these are going to be anywhere between like four to 500. And, and the only reason why this would maybe push up is just the low mints, and there's just not a lot of them, and maybe people want to complete the set. That's all I know. So so maybe 550 to 6 for this one. So maybe I should move, I could have moved my prices up a bit. That's what I'm seeing. But I think those are going to go there. And then again, all it takes is one tweet, one IP announcement, one um, State of the Union address type of thing from Dan and David to have these prices either skyrocket or crash. It could go either way. So I see most of these over Wally and Pizza Planet truck. You think so? I... I personally don't see that happening it might happen initially but they will go down i do think there will eventually be a pecking order of the uh the golden moments i honestly i see most of these probably being okay so timon and pumbaa i do think it's going to be a high b tier poo depending on how it plays out i feel like it's either going to be like a like a high b tier or a low a tier just depending on the prices and the rest of these are all going to be c tier in my personal opinion like you have to compare it to like Iron Man, Elsa, like that's that's really really tough, right? That's that's just the way I see it. But if we had like Lilo and Stitch, that's high A tier in my opinion. Like if we had like Lilo and Stitch, that's that's high A tier, potentially bordering low S tier. But it's it's definitely high A tier. So like they, so these are some good pairings, but like there's still some really good ones out there. We could add like uh, Buzz and Woody as well. Like that could have been or technically Woody and um, uh, Bo Peep, Bo Peep, right? I think that's her name. I don't know. Beauty and the Beast will be the lowest easily. Yeah, I, I think, you know, who knows? So, yeah, I, I do think this one will probably be the lowest. You know, if I had to go from bottom to top, it will be uh, Cogsworth and, you know, this one. Then uh, f I think it's going to be a weird tie between these two, Chip and Dale and uh, Sebastian. I do think this is more popular than Chip and Dale. Like, don't get me wrong, Chip and Dale's been around for a long time, but... I think, the, I think they're tied for that. It's going to be neck and neck. Then it's going to go Timon and Pumbaa. Then Pooh is going to be at the top. 
Chippendale and Comets will be the most expensive. Yeah, we'll see. I think Chippendale, the only reason why Chippendale is going to be more expensive is just strictly based off rarity, not popularity, um, at least compared to the other ones, right? This is all just my opinion. I could be way off. I think your price predictions is pretty good. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Chippendale as ultra rare only at 600. Yeah, I, like I said, I think people over value rarity like it's it, it depends like if this was lilo and stitch 1200 gems 1300 gems if this was uh woody and bo peep 900 gems but because it's chippendale it, I'm, see I, I didn't even bring up rarity it's all they're all ultra rares but but the fact that it's chippendale eh, i don't know people know of it yeah are people willing to invest four, five, six, seven, eight hundred gems into it over these other characters that they might like more? Unlikely. At least above five hundred. Yeah, I see all these going above five hundred, but I could definitely see like Cogsworth as well as maybe Sebastian slightly peaking, like maybe getting into the four hundreds, like very briefly. I'm talking they're gonna touch it and then go back up. Like it could be within a minute. Pumbaa 860. Do you have a Walt? No, I do not. I used to. There's a story behind that, but no, not really. Okay, uh, 500 to 1K, based on what? You don't know everything will be low until we get closer to next season. Um, oh, that's at Jared Souza. Hey, Moon, what's up? <clears throat> based on the history, mate, that's all we have going on, pretty much. Hell yeah, dude. You're pointing at all these golden moments like y'all gonna be low, really low. But again, and who knows? I, I do think um, Winnie the Pooh could touch a grand. But again, very briefly, the thing is like, are gonna people keep buying it at a grand? It's gonna probably go down below a grand, probably hit like six, 700. People are gonna buy it up, up to 800. And then it's, you know, it's gonna go up to 800, then 900. People are gonna start foaming in all the way up to almost a grand. Then it's gonna sit there for a while. Then more listings are gonna get delivered or more NFTs are gonna get delivered. Then it's gonna go right back down and probably settle, I would say between seven to eight, in my opinion. Like it's, it's gonna do this, They're, they all do that. But I do think the one that could hit the highest is I think Pooh is gonna struggle to hit above a thousand and it's probably gonna settle between uh, seven to eight. Um, maybe even a little bit lower, like. And again, these all could be low too, because remember, these are people trying, like a lot of people, like the money's gonna be spread out across all these NFTs, right? So it's not like we're gonna have, we, we, we say 2 million users, but whatever, let's just say 2 million users. There's a big difference between 2 million users all trying to buy just Timon and Pumbaa and just Winnie the Pooh, and then all of a sudden now we have three others involved as well. So that's why I think the price predictions are a bit lower. So it could be lower than this too, because people might try to wanna buy multiples or maybe people can literally only afford one or two and they just don't, they can't afford the other three. So that's, that could bring the prices down as well. So uh, Puma 860, Poo 940, Cogsworth 440, Flounder 340, Chippendale 440. Um, interesting, they all end in 40 except for Pumba. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the same tier list. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing except you added like 100 gems to it. So yeah, I think that range is, it, it could go like that, uh, virtual hags or haggis behem golden moments are known as hype drops now uh that's why i understand what you're saying jp just have no history of appearance they will all start over a thousand yeah of course when the, when the market initially opens they're all going to be put up for a 1500 a thousand or whatever i'm talking like what's like 50 percent are delivered where are they going to kind of settle at and right and so when people do price predictions it's like all right is it uh an hour after the drop when we're still waiting for deliveries is it are we talking by the end of the week are we talking by by the end of the day like when we do price predictions it's so arbitrary right because yeah it could probably all these nfts could fit in my price prediction for a few hours until we get another announcement or it's the end of the week or um whatever it is so what are some trigger pull triggers like right like in in the sense of like if you see this nft below this price like you just buy it immediately and, and don't look back like you just don't even take a second guess right you know you can't just say lol 100 gems right but i would say if at any point timon and pumbaa goes below 400 you just buy it instantly and just don't look back you know probably same thing here poo if it goes below like 450 you just buy it instantly and just don't worry it's gonna go above that like these ones like cogsworth if any of these i say go below you know four right and I'm, I'm trying to find a point where it's like obviously not to the point where like it's never going to get listed like these are never going to get listed below 200 right or 300 but there's a good chance that like these could hit 450 or something like that right or 400 like there's a chance that it could just start bottoming out really quick and then you can buy it and it's going to go back up so that's that's the thing i would say so i'd say 
with both of these if either of these go below like 450 you just buy it instantly like don't even wait for it to go lower don't be greedy don't be whatever like if those hit 450 you just buy it right away preference not financial advice but um but then if these go below 350 or 400 I, I probably just buy it instantly and then just and that's if whether you want to hold long term or flip it both of those i think are going to be relatively fine because you could probably flip these uh if you buy them at, the, at that price so if you see the market go down that low don't be greedy and like wait for it to like well it's at 450 right now what if it hits 400 and then maybe 375 and i can like i would just buy it instantly and just don't look back that's just me personally so that'd be some um i don't know i need to come up with a term for that where there's like Here's like my estimated price point, but like if it ever hits this price point at any point in the market while it's going volatile, you just buy it because in my opinion, I think it's just way too cheap.